What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Night Terrors issue number 2. Now in this event there has been a lot going on. If you have not been keeping up with the nightmares of the individual heroes and villains, I highly recommend that you check out the playlist in my description, because we have already covered a great handful of these stories, and so far most of them have been bangers. But in the last issue of the main titles, what we saw was Dead Man resurrecting Sandman, needing a little bit of help to try and figure out how to solve this problem, possessing the body of Batman. He is trying to figure out who is Insomnia, what is the Nightmare Stone, and how can they bring everybody back to the waking world. But they are about to soon learn that they are on a time crunch, that everybody asleep only has a set amount of time before it is too late. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown! Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Batman aka Deadman and the Sandman. Almost immediately, Sandman knows that this is not Batman, that this must be some kind of ghost. And Deadman is thrown off, wondering how he even knows who Batman is. This is where Sandman goes on to tell Deadman that you are a ghost possessing the body of a man who dresses like a bat to fight crime. Not only that, but then he resurrects Sandman, who has prophetic dreams about crimes to come. And the idea of time travel and multiverses is the thing that you question. Telling Dead Man, why don't you just get to the point on why you resurrected me? That you mentioned someone called Insomnia. So skipping over all the hows and whys, Dead Man gets right into letting him know that Insomnia is a freak show moving within people's dreams, and people's nightmares controlling reality, making nightmares real, and really hates costume heroes. But that he is after something called the Nightmare Stone. He had saw glimpses into Insomnia's mind, and he saw Sandman. Now he is wondering why. That is because Sandman has seen the Nightmare Stone. It was a case, one that has haunted him still to this day. There was a cult that claimed to worship some god of nightmares. At first, he thought it was like all the other cults, about sex and money. But then it took a nasty turn. Giving a glimpse of the past, seeing bored rich people trapped in a golden cage of privilege. They felt that they were owed something greater, and then they stumbled upon something real. Something that they would die for. As they get ready to make a sacrifice, Sandman comes in. He throws his gas out. He saves the man on the altar that is about to be sacrificed. This was early in his time as being a mass vigilante. He was young, he was foolish, and he was cocky. What he didn't realize is that this cult and that man that they were about to sacrifice, he was no pawn. He was their leader. He wanted to be the vessel. He wanted to make their nightmares real. And so we see him pick up the dagger and he drives it into his own chest. All of the cult members, they begin to drink a potion. And we see the nightmare stone beginning to manifest into the real world. But there was one big problem. This cult had been asking around for a death potion. That's how we learned what they were up to in the first place. They thought that they had made the ultimate sacrifice. Instead, they're gonna wake up in the morning with a headache because this was his own sleep concoction that they took. And so that one lone sacrifice, it wasn't enough to bring the Nightmare Stone into reality and it faded away. After that, he's not sure where it went. He asked the other members of the Justice Society if they had ever encountered anything like this. They had never heard about it, but there was something about this case. Dr. Fate had once told him that it was an item that bridged the waking world with the dream world. That anything of this manner would be extremely dangerous, especially if it fell into the wrong hands. With this information, Dead Man says that he should probably probably put Sandman back into his grave before he decides to start craving brains. But Sandman says that this is a case that haunted him. 
that he feels a certain responsibility to finishing it. So wherever Dead Man goes, Sandman is going with him. This is when they get an alert from Terrific Tech. They need all hands on deck. As they go to take off, Dead Man is curious. That cult, was there any of the members that are still alive? The way Sandman sees it, that was ages ago. They would all be long dead by now. But this is where we pick up with that cult leader's son. Now an old man sitting dreaming. Taken under the spell by insomnia, we see him lavished with everything that he could ever want. More wine, more grapes, more gold, more girls. But we also see the arrival of Insomnia. And Insomnia tells him that his father would be proud. But his father has been dead for almost 80 years. And this is something that Insomnia knows. But he also knows that his father tried to capture a piece of living horror. And so now he is asking the son, where is the Nightmare Stone? But he goes on to say that his father's actions with the cult ruined the family name. That he built all of this by himself. Insomnia thinking this is rather funny because this kid had a 20 million dollar trust fund. But with him not having any information for Insomnia, Insomnia takes a bag of coins and shoves it down his throat. We see him explode and all the coins go in all directions. The Nightmare Stone is not here. Hoping that maybe Dead Man is having better luck, he sends his sleepless nights to go find Dead Man and see if he has picked up any kind of trail. This is what takes us over to Terrific Tech. Red Tornado meeting up with what he thinks is Batman. But Boston quickly corrects him, lets him know that this is Dead Man. With Red Tornado looking rather disappointed, and it's not necessarily a problem he has with Dead Man. They just need all the help they can get. Having Batman on deck would have been a great help to them. Nearly every single person in the world fell asleep at the same time. And while the robots are out here helping, now it's a question if if they wake up. This is where we see Mr. Terrific in a tank. One of the smartest people in the world. While they have no idea what he could be dreaming of, Red Tornado is letting them know that it is so much worse than you guys think. They show readings of everybody's mind that are sinking deeper and deeper into the comas. The longer the world spins in the nightmare realm, the less connection they have to their bodies. Eventually, none of them will be able to wake up. This is where Dead Man has an experience. When he had tried to jump into the body of Insomnia, it left them connected in a small way. And so he can still see the nightmares. This is what takes Dead Man to Arkham Asylum yet again, but before the Lazarus Reign. We learn that Insomnia's real name is Mr. Lucas. They're trying to keep him awake today so that he can have some socialization. This is where they wheel him in to John D. The two of them both sitting in front of a chessboard. On the news, Insomnia hears that the Justice League died. For a moment, this gives him joy. But then he hears that the Justice League has returned. Alive and well. And this makes Insomnia absolutely freak out. Wondering why they get to come back from the dead. Why not everybody else? What makes the Justice League so special? This is when they jab him with a sedative saying that he needs to go back to sleep, that he is too dangerous to be kept awake. Dead Man not sure what is happening here. All he knows is that they kept him asleep. Now he's curious on to why that is. When he comes to, Sandman is asking what he saw. And what he saw was Insomnia frustrated. He is still trapped inside the Nightmare Realm, and he is not having any luck finding the Nightmare Stone. This is when Sandman connects the pieces that if they are connected, that means Insomnia might know where you are. That's when the lights go out, and that is where the sleepless nights arrive. With Dead Man calling out to Red Tornado, telling him to call in for the backup. But Sandman tells him to wait, because there is more going on here than they can see. This is where we cut over to just the head of Red Tornado, ripped completely from his body by the Sleepless Nights. And now, they come for Dead Man and Sandman. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Another fun issue, this one not really 
focusing too much on where the Nightmare Stone is per se, but focusing on who Insomnia is. We have still yet to fully understand his powers, but obviously at some point he got thrown into Arkham. I find it very interesting that he is in Arkham Tower. He's sitting here with the likes of John D, but nobody has ever seen him. No one's ever had to handle him, no one's ever seen him do a crime, none of this. So the question is, who put him here? Why did they put him here? And why is it so important to keep Insomnia asleep? Now we already know that the Lazarus Reign, this has allowed him to branch out, to do everything that he has done so far. But before the Reign, what was he? What was his true power at the time? And why was he so dangerous? that they had to keep him from the waking world. Many questions still left unanswered, but with Sandman and Deadman on the case, we are soon gonna learn exactly what is going on, who is Insomnia, what led him to being in Arkham, and where is all of this going to lead. But before they do that, they have to handle the sleepless nights. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.